Hello folks, Adventure Craft is still in early access and doesn't always explain itself that well to newcomers, so here's a quick tutorial how to get to grips with your first 30 minutes or so. And this will be an accelerated walkthrough, like one of the moving walkways at an airport, or someone hustling you through a crowd with a gun pushed at your back. Um, so it's based on the early access game as of July 2017, so things may change in future updates. Yes! Okay, we'll start a new game shortly, but now let's have a very quick look at the HUD when I've got a nice, well-equipped character. So it's easy to show off in this case. Uh, first of all, if you look at the HUD, top left, that's the time of day here. We're coming towards night now, when all the baddies come out at night. Or the main, bigger ones anyway. And this is the phase of the moon. And when it's um, a full moon, you may see werewolves. And there are other events at certain times of the moon cycle. Um, but don't worry about that too much. Down here... That's your dog stuff, which um, will come a pound over time. To start with, you won't have that. Down here, if you press G, if you've got any grenades in your inventory, um, you'll be able to toss that, but you won't get any of those to start with, so again, don't worry. And that's my um, uh, the weapon that I've got in my offhand. Um, in my onhand, or whatever you want to call it, I've got my sword. And press left click or space. And then you toggle um, your hands by pressing E. So I've got my crowbar in one hand and my sword in the other. Um, all very nice. Let's go back into the light. Um, so you can have more than one loadout. You have two loadouts, in fact. So let's have a look in the inventory. Um, I'm currently on my secondary loadout, which is my powerful one with weapons and armour, which I've crafted. But by pressing shift, you'll go to your other loadout. Uh, this is one which isn't very well armoured, but I have got um, axe and pickaxe as tools. So I can switch between them at will. Um, which is all very useful. And this is your inventory, uh, fairly self-explanatory. It's split up into five tabs of things that you've got in your backpack. And then there's a sixth tab, which is all the recipes you've learnt. And this is like the quick way of crafting. And we'll get on to crafting in a bit. Um, at the very bottom, there's your how many hearts you've got. That's your current um, shield. Um, if um, you get tonked, you'll kind of like lose your shield for a bit and you won't be so well um, armoured. And, of course, you've got food, which is the don't starve style thing, where you mustn't let it get too low, otherwise you will get hurt very quickly. And there's four um, quick bar type thingamabobs, one to four. It's not very many, I wish I had another one, to be honest. So if I press the number four, I'll eat a pork chop, and we store four hunger. Alright, so we've started a new game, and um, it will look a bit different to what it did before. We now have a to-do list, and um, we don't have anything to do with a dog just yet. Um, so let's get going. Your first focus should actually be to build a house. That's what you should be aiming for completely. But when you're actually weak and feeble and don't have any weapons or anything like that, um, the first thing you're going to have to do is start punching bushes and log piles and stones. That goblin is chasing me. I'm not going to take it on um, because it is actually quite... Um, <laughs> uh, a little bit. I've only got my fists at the moment. Uh, these are just some guys. Don't worry about them. Um, so uh, log piles are a very good source of logs to start with, so you should be concentrating on getting logs from that rather than trees. Um, although you might as well as well, I mean, but um, if, if you start punching a tree it's a slower process. Um, but you will actually get some other stuff out of it as well. Um, the recipes that I'm getting, um, they're rather um, part and parcel of the game. Um, so I'll just come onto that sh um, in a bit. For now I'm just inefficiently punching a tree. Um, it keeps on warning me that I need to actually ideally hit it with an axe like that, um, because you'll get more wood out of it that way, quicker. So let's just keep on doing this for a while. Um, it's taking its time, so let's just start punching the smaller bushes as well, so we can get some kindling. It does want us to do a certain list of things on the left. I'd say that campfires are not important in the game. They don't cook food, all they do is um, protect you against some creatures of the night, but not all of them. So it does kind of prove to be slightly pointless. So let's actually get some food whilst we're actually on the move. Actually, we don't want to put it to that tree because there's a wild boar nearby. There's a normal piggy, which will not hurt us. Still getting a lot of recipes at the moment, so we'll come on to that. I'm also getting some blueberries, which is what we need. Let's keep on punching this for a while. And lots of kindling. There's a little bit of kindling there as well. So we've got eight kindlings. Uh-oh, goblins on the prowl. Uh, so let's actually eat this food. Once the goblin gives up, we'll eat the food. Go away, you pest. Right, it's given up. Right, so press 1 on my hotbar. I'll eat a couple of handfuls of good blueberries. And uh, I've actually completed that. Now it's telling us to build a campfire, but we won't actually do that in order, because that requires getting a few more other things as well. Although I will probably have enough kindling by now. I think more importantly we should get a, we should start tooling up. 
Um, enemies, they do fight amongst themselves of different species, which is very handy. In the meantime, I'm just going to get more food for later. Lots of that. Right, let's leave them alone. Oh, <laughs> the goblin's not too happy. Right, so let's actually try and craft a club. So, inventory. We'll go to the, um, the, the weapon screen. So I've already learnt all these recipes. I think these are just ones you know from the start. Uh, if you want to make an axe and a pickaxe, you first have to make a club. Um, you can't make this... Um, make the, um, you can't make the club just yet because you need sticks. So, in here... Uh, we can't actually do that just yet. Okay, what, we do, what, what you have to do is you have to do this manually. Drag the oak logs into your crafting. Cut. And you make oak planks. We'll do that a few times. Now, put the planks back in. And you can cut them further. You also have the choice of bashing them with a hammer. Um, but that just produces sawdust, which is pretty pointless. So now we have six sticks. So now um, we are actually able to produce our club. Like that. In fact, we'll produce two because we'll need that. So, yeah, I'll just um, drag that into my inventory. So we've got two clubs. Now I can actually make an axe because I need a club and some more various types of wood. And we would, I'd actually like to make a pickaxe as well, but we first we'll need some twine. So let's just arm ourselves by dragging it into the one slot of our primary loadout. Um, so primary loadout. I've only got one thing at the moment. So secondary loadout, I've got nothing at all. But at least we've got an axe, which will make chopping trees a lot easier. Um, I can't help but notice it's now getting dark. So let's actually try to get some flint very quickly. Um, I shouldn't really be using the axe, but um, whatever. Um, just make sure I haven't actually got any flint already. No, I don't. You get stone and flint and quite a few other things from bashing rocks. Uh, I could really do some flint quite... So oh, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, the, the baddies are on the prowl now. Now, your first night will probably be spent like this. Um, it's quite hard to actually get a campfire on the go um, before the first night. Right, okay. So they've actually... I've managed to outrun them for once. So let's quickly try to get some flint. There's NPCs, various ones, good and bad, spawning at the moment. But in the meantime... Actually, I will try to use my axe. Um, it's not very helpful, this. I, mean, I really need a pickaxe. But to get a pickaxe, I actually do need to do some bashing of the stone in the first place, which it seems a bit arse about tit. I'm getting so little out of this. Oh, my axe is weakened. I better stop using that. Um, you can repair axes. That's not very useful. That's just, com just some coal. Um, you can repair things, but you actually do need to get some scrap wood and some scrap metal. And you do that by bashing treasure chests, um, which is actually one down there. So let's just do that. Uh, treasure chests will provide you with, well, as well as the recipes. They'll ne generally um, provide um, twine, bits of scrap, bottles like that, and some health potions, and maybe even, if you're very lucky, the occasional treasure. You get a lot of scrap, which is good. Now we'll avoid them. Uh, don't seem to have actually got any flint just yet. Oh, there's a baddie attacking me. Oh, careful. No, I'm still, I'm still getting coal from it. So let's try and get out of his way. Unfortunately, he's quite fast. Oh, hang on. Oh, I was hoping the, the NPC would distract them, but no. Oh, go away. Yeah, I think the night's going to finish before we get a chance to do this campfire now. But as I say, campfires are pretty worthless, really. They just... Um, they don't, I mean, the, the guy that's chasing me at the moment um, doesn't care about the campfire. The um, smaller enemies do. Oh, things, are, things are kicking off over there. But let's, let's, let's ignore that. You can fight these, but it's best not to. Anyway, the sunrise has actually happened now, so they're all dying anyway. So let's try and get this flint. Aha! Flint. Or oh, two of them at once. Rather convenient. Right, so now I'll be able to build a campfire, but we won't be able to... Well, we won't bother doing that until tomorrow night. Uh, so now let's build a pickaxe. Now, after bashing that treasure chest, I have one bit of twine, which will be enough. So let's go to the pick, which is down here. Combine. And now I can drag that into my secondary slot. So I can now flip between them with E, depending on what I'm bashing. And now tonking the stone will go a lot quicker and be able to get things out much easier. And I've also got a recipe for a stone pickaxe, which would be a nice little upgrade. Um, ignore the goat men. Don't try and aggro them, because at this stage of the game, they'll just kill you very quickly. Um, but yeah, you have to go quite close to them before they start caring, though. Uh, we'll actually have to harvest the um, treasure chest, because this provides us with very useful basic materials. Ooh, golden bone. 
Golden Bones revive pets, but I haven't got a pet yet. So now what I need to do, really, I mean, I could do the campfire, but what I'm going to do now is start collecting logs to get up to 100, and then we can build a house, which will keep us safe. Currently I've only got... Oh my god, my, my axe is broke. That's not good. The trouble is, um, it's a lot more expensive to make a new one than it is to repair. So let's build another axe. Need to build another club. And then an axe. So that's not too bad. I've already got the stuff. But if I just pressed R before that it had broken completely, that would, all that would have cost me is a little bit of scrap wood instead of having to craft a club and stuff like that. Anyway, I shall see you on the other side of collecting a hundred logs. Although, depending if um, night time comes first, which it might do. Many trees later. It is evening, but I might be able to do this in time. Um, I've had to repair my axe a couple of times, and just by pressing R, and when I hear the breaking sound. I'm nearly done. There we go, a hundred logs, and now I can actually do some building. And first let me just quickly tonk this, just to try and get any scrap wood I can. Ah, got nothing out of that, other than some twine. Right, let's very quickly find a space to build a house. Let's try and do this quite close to spawn. And just so if, when we do die, we will actually not have to run too far to the house. Now let's build it here, because we're actually running out of time. Press air, that. Drag your wood onto here, until you've actually got one of those. You can actually drag this back and forth if you want, for st um, storage later. Press build, you'll see a house. Press tick, and we have ourselves a new house, which is rather wonderful. I haven't completed my to-do list yet, because I still need to build a campfire, which I'll quickly do now. Uh, go to this one, got all the new stuff. So I just need... Um, kindling. I've got kindling, I've got flint. I haven't quite got the oak sticks, so I'm going to use the yellow shortcut, which will take things from elsewhere in the inventory and automatically cut things without having to move around the inventory. So provide, I mean, the yellow thing will only appear there if you've actually got, got the, the relevant raw material to craft it into that. Uh, so there we go, oh, everything's gone green. I can build a campfire. And I'm going to build that outside the house. Oh, I've actually got to go outside to do that. This is a bit art about tick, you're supposed to really build the campfire. Oh, shit. Ow! God damn it. Right. Oh, they're all outside the house now. Uh. Oh, there's a werewolf! You don't see those very often. You, you won't see these very often, because it's a, it's a new moon. Of, of, which is weird, you'd have thought it would be a, um, a full moon, but... They're all, t they're all fighting amongst themselves, which is handy to see. Oh, the werewolf has now died and turned back into the original person. Uh, whilst it's night time, actually. Oh god, someone's setting them all on fire. Oh, it's one of them. While it's night time, it's a good time to show you um, that you can actually build a bed. And by going to... Is it Bradley's place? Um, well, okay, yeah, it is. Terror from the Deep. Oh, I haven't got enough gold. Oh, I need a hundred quid. Oh, I can't build a bed yet. That's annoying. Mind you, I'm starving to death now, so it hardly matters. I'm going to let myself starve to death, because there's nothing I can do at the moment. I've got enough food. And we'll see how the um, the death mechanism works. So I've returned to spawn point. Um, in the current version, there's no way of actually changing a spawn point. Uh, I'm very vulnerable now. If I die without collecting my inventory, that inventory will be lost for good. But it really is quite close, so that's not a problem. Right, there we go. So I still need a bit of gold if I want to build a bed. And what I do need to also make, whilst I'm here, is... Well, let's actually deploy the campfire just outside, because that'll finish us off our list. So drag that there, deploy, and we've completed our to-do list and got ourselves a pet, so we'll just call it Doggy. And there he is, and he'll just run around um, on his own AI and just do things like uh, randomly attack creatures and stuff like that. As you go along, he'll automatically train himself up by getting XP, and you'll be able to give him orders, but you won't be able to do that just yet. Which is rather handy. So when you're in your house, and what you should be building, you will you need to build like a um, forge, workbench, and trunk for storage. Workbench, easy enough. Let's do that. Deploy it. And s sorted. Um, if you're inside a house with a workbench, um, if you press your I to craft, you'll automatically get the power of the workbench to give you six slots for crafting instead of three. So you need to actually um, have this open, this the workbench open, if you want to craft anything that is more than three things here. So the trunk will need a workbench. Um, you also need a workbench to, to spend, so you have to build two workbenches. At the moment I don't seem to have much in the way of logs, though. I'm actually completely out of wood, so I do, do need to do a bit more chopping, uh, which will take a bit of time. 
Oh, right. Press R. I haven't got enough scrap wood. So before I do any more um, chopping down, I will actually need to go... Oh, there's a, there's a spawner there, a goblin spawner. I will need to go and find some more treasure chests to bust open. There's a shop here. Shops are fairly useless when it comes to selling your things because they are so expensive. I've got 54 quid and everything's like thousands. However, I mean, if I sell them things... I mean, that's 75 quid just by doing that. Selling by one stick will be 75 quid. Prices may change as the game gets developed. That's 100 quid for some sulphur. Yeah, selling things very worthwhile. Even acorns, which aren't very useful at all, will give you a lot of cash. Already I'm up to 500 quid. Getting plenty of stone now. Now I'm using my proper pickaxe. It's good to actually upgrade these um, to stone as soon as you can, and then eventually iron. Um, but for now, you know, don't have to worry about that too much. There's a bee tree there. Bee trees are actually very good for food. Um, you will get stung, but it's not too bad, as we'll now see. So I'm just going to tonk it a few times. You will get mostly honeycombs, but you also get the occasional hive. I'm starting to get stung now. I'm losing half a heart each time, but it's not too bad. I mean, look, I'm down to three hearts still. Two and a half. And I've already managed to get everything that I need. There we go. Let's go indoors before things kick off. So, I mean, honeycomb is good for, uh, like, one food and also some healing. And neat little trick as well. If you put the beehive in, in here, you can actually cut it up to a lot more honeycomb. So now we've already got absolutely loads of food. And that'll keep us going forever. Uh, right. Now, first of all, I'm going to build a bed. Now I can afford it. Uh, there, we'll have it there. So if I click on it now, I can actually go to sleep as long as I want. Let's sleep the night. And we're fully... Well, it, it'll make sure that you're fully healed. Um, but also, it'll consume quite a bit of hunger. So we'll need to just push that back up again. So now we've got ourselves a bed and a workbench. Now we need to craft... Um, some another workbench actually. We'll use the the, the quick shortcut methods because we've got plenty of stuff in reserve. And now we need to make a trunk. Now we don't have any oak handle yet. Um, to get oak handle, oak stick. Oh, wait, I'll just take the workbench out. Oak stick cut into an oak handle. And now we need to um, make a. Okay, we need to sort out a bit of more chopping. And we have ourselves a trunk which we can deploy like this. Uh, which will provide us with 15 slots. And once you've learned how to craft wooden drawers, you can also drag the wooden drawers into these empty slots here, and you can treble up on your storage for each trunk, uh, which is all very nice. And the final thing you need is the... You can get a weapons and equipment locker, because you can't put swords and things inside trunks. But that's very much an optional thing. You shouldn't have to worry about that just yet. Now we'll try to get a forge. Uh, we can make some stone slabs. In fact, I'll show you how to do that. And it's out, it's out of three stones. Stone slab. There we go. So we'll make a few of them. Three stone slabs. So now we go to back to forge. So we need to, we do need to make some gravel, uh, which is easily made by putting stone into here and just bashing it. You can also cut it into a throwable rock. Something I've never bothered using, actually. <laughs> just weird, just occurred to me. And finally, to make the forge, we need some charcoal. Now, where's that campfire I built? I wonder if actually lit it. Well, fine. I mean, in the meantime, whilst we wait... We, you can get charcoal from spent fires. I mean, in the meantime, I'm just going to get... I'm just going to do some um, gathering. Because uh, iron ore quite useful later on for when you're actually making things like iron swords and armour. Shielding, anyway. Oh, just start off. Bees are really hard to hit. They're so annoying. Uh, repair. Pressing R. And I've got up to full strength again. More flint. Ah, the campfire is off. Tonk it. Oh, it didn't provide us with any bloody charcoal. I got very unlucky with the drops there. Piss. Well, no matter. We can do it another way. Where's the coal? There it is. Bash it into charcoal. There, that's a much easier way of doing it, really. Uh, and now we can build a forge. Drag it there. Don't want to do it outside. In fact, you can't. And we have ourselves a forge. And you, you, you can cook food in here and also turn ore into good stuff. So you can you can do iron ore into um, iron bars, and then from there you can do all sorts of things. Make sure that you drag some kindling into the middle slot, though. Otherwise you're going nowhere fast. 
and nothing much you can really do here other than cook up some ore at the moment. Um, but if I like them killed some boars, I might be able to make some pork chops, some cooked pork chops. Eating raw meat will hurt you, so don't. Um, but anyway, I think actually we, uh, we have actually managed to uh, get ourselves a proper home, um, which is all very nice. But there's, there's plenty, plenty more to show you, but I think that's enough for a beginner's guide. Right, so thanks for watching. Just to make a flaming club. <laughs> now I'm going to put that into my secondary loadout. Um, so yeah, I can swap between loadouts and all will be good. So I've got access to four, potentially four weapons. Yeah, so thanks for watching. I may do another tips video on this, like a quick fire um, tips guide to this, rather than this quite lengthy beginner's guide tutorial type thing. Take that! <laughs> And so look out for that in future if I actually get around to doing it. Uh, do subscribe to be notified when new videos go live about all the latest indie games, large and small. More adventure craft. I'm sure there'll be plenty of that. Uh, oh, tonight seems very quiet. Oh! God damn it. That scared me. Ugh. Cool. Oh my god. Teleporter recipe. Oh my, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> and everything's kicked off. I'm going indoors. Sod the lot of you.